Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with the M Scrap Busters Challenge. That's the challenge run by Melina over at MeCraftyScrapper and ScrapbookingWithMe.com. Right, today it's these quick, easy, altered paper clips. Yep, banner paper clips. Very simple to make. Uh, I'll tell you what they measure. The paper clips I've used are two inches. Yeah, just checking I got that right. So that's then, it's give me a paper clip that's three inches long. With the paper clip included, it's three and a half almost. And the piece of paper I've used to make two of the banners. Oops, okay. All right, Timothy Holtz, wait your turn. <laughs> it's this. This is five, was this five inches? Five and a half inches long and one and three quarter inches wide. The length is not really important. The width is going to depend on the length of your paper clip, yeah? Mine's two inches, but as you can see, the edges curl. So I measured the straight part and it's two and three, it's, yeah, one and three quarters. So I've cut that to one and three quarters. So I'll show you what, how I did it on this one first. I've made these two slightly different. So to get your banner points, again, I'm going to use Melina's technique on this first one, which is very easy. Fold it in half and just cut from where they meet. <laughs> this is the bit I often get wrong. There you go. Sorted. Now, because this is thick, I couldn't do both sides at once. So I've done one and I'm going to do other one like this just by following that edge with my scissors to the middle. Careful of that finger underneath. There we go, and I've now got two points that are the same. Plenty of inking to do on this one. You just want to ink, if you want to ink, that is. I want to ink these because they're, they're grungified, aren't they? If I were doing perhaps bright pastel colours, I probably wouldn't bother inking them. It depends, doesn't it? On feel at journal you're going to put them in. Or planner. Or you could even use these as a bookmark. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Oh, I could make my kids some of the names on. I'm sure I'd end up treading on them at some point. Right, then, if you look, I've put another little banner on the inside. Now, I've got a strip of paper. I didn't measure this. I just made sure it weren't quite as wide. And again, I've made the point by folding it over, cutting from the side where it meets to the middle to get my point. And that I've just, well, you can cut. I'll cut it so I can then use the next bit, but... On a couple of them, when I was using smaller bits of paper, I just tore them. So that's that. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? I've lost it. Oh, that's a good start, as usual. Lost what I was making. And that just then goes in there. Yeah. Now, to decorate them, I've gone pretty simple. I've laid up a few tags. Now, on this one, I put the tags on after I'd glued everything together. So I do have the back of the paper clip there, which didn't bother me. But then I thought if I stick them on before I glue the clip together, the back of the paper clip will go on inside, won't it? So let's find, I'll just ink these points up because we're going to see that. I'm not too bothered how pretty it back is. Uh, if you check out Melina's video, she really has gone to town a lot more than I'm doing on decorating them. I'm just I'm just going to get them to this point, then I can add an extra decoration depending on the journal I put it in, I suppose. I mean, I thought about putting butterflies on, but I don't know if I'm going to use them all in butterfly journals. Right, I'm going to grab a couple of random labels just to... Well, I like that one that says $1.50. That's nice and bold, isn't it? And under it, I think I want a label that is much more plain. I don't want the same shape, though. I don't want the same shape. What shall we have? No, no, don't get picky now about your labels, woman. That's good. So I think I want that one and that one. Yeah, I like that. I'm not too bothered about how straight they are. I want to see that word that says private collection. And then I've just come in with my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. Doesn't have to be that. You could do it with any stapler. And I've just stapled them. Basically, basically, because I'm in a lazy mood today. Glue takes too long to dry. Well, I'm going to have to use glue here. Well, I don't suppose I have to. I could paper clip. I could staple it. But I'm going to glue this. I'm just using my bog standard PVA today. A bit cheaper than me, yeah. Art glitter. 
because I'm using nice thick paper it's not going to wobble it so that one I'm just going to stick in there just want to make sure I may have put the glue a bit further down than I intended there so I'm just going to wipe that bit off yeah try not to put your glue on the bit that's going to be sticking out so I'm not going for perfection but I'm happy so now I'm just going to put glue all the way around the edge and stick it together you could make a, leave a little opening to put some in couldn't you really yeah but before I do that I will put my paper clip in don't forget that bit Julie right this is the time at which you decide whether you want it to go on the right hand page or the left I'm going to put this on the right hand page so get your paper clip that's the bit that's continuous not the little bit at the top with the hooky bit continuous so then you've got your loop inside facing that way so it will tuck on that way this might sound really obvious but i know it's something i get wrong then thread your paper on just like that just like that tommy cooper time again sorry to people who haven't got a clue who tommy cooper is oh it does go over me yeah it went over that staple okay and then that's it that's going to clip onto your page just like that Tommy Cooper again sorry and I, I quite like it so now let's get some glue I'm going to make sure I put a line of glue at the top so the paper clip's not going to start to move down so I want a line there and then I'm just going to go all the way around there not on that bit so I'll put the glue on that bit there yeah just to make sure it's not going to showing on me with a little on my other little banner yeah melina's gone to town she's doing katie cornered banners and all sorts um i don't know i think i must be in a let's line it all up straight kind of mood today because i didn't want to do it <laughs> no other reason than that it's my mood i've really gone mad with amount of glue there so there we have it i think they're really cute yeah very cute and like i say i have got my butterflies out because i did consider butterflying them so if you then Ooh, decide i don't know that oh hello i've not heard from you in a while have we mrs gertrude yeah i think that would be lovely yeah oh if i were doing something in so that color because these are pretty neutral i know there's some greens and whatever but they're not overly matchy matchy on colour are they so I could add anything to those well, you could even pop it up there anywhere you want but for today I'm leaving them like so so now I've got a set of three in that colour right this one you'll see I've, I've done it ever so slightly different I've just made my fold over piece a little bit shorter at the front than the back and I'll just show you how I do that one now very simple you probably worked it out already I bet you have answers on a postcard please and i've got all sorts of scraps out that's looking like it might be right width no it's too narrow right so i'm sure i cut another one to size if i haven't i'll do i'm gonna use, i think i'll use this paper oh it'll go nice with that won't it i don't know what brand this were it's got some green checks on the back and it's like sewing patterns on the front so it wants to be anywhere between five and six inch long uh that's longer than that so i'll cut my length this way i'm going to make them five and a half again i just seem to like that length and then i want to cut them one and three quarter inches wide because they fit perfectly on my two inch paper clips so that's one two Ooh, this could be perfect three that one's nearly right size so i'm just going to cut a smidgen off that an absolute smidgen yeah so out of that one scrap there i've got four that i can make that's good i'm going to keep working on my big pile of paper i've nowhere else to put it so right i'm going to grab this now and before i fold it over this is a slightly thinner card so i may be able to i'll tell you what i'll show you another way to do your points Oh, <laughs> that were magnetised. Oh, there you go. Right, guess where the middle is. If you're not good at guessing, measure where the middle is, right? 
and now I'm going to cut up about as far as I want my banners to go. This is just another way of doing it. Then from that corner, go up to where your cut finished. Can I even see it on this paper? Just go up to where your cut finished. I mean, you could even do that by marking it with a pencil. And then again, from this corner, go up to where your cut finishes. Then you'll get your nice even little banner shape. There's lots of ways to do it. I even contemplated finding my square punch and trying that. Now this time, I'm not going to fold in the middle. I'm going to fold slightly higher up. There you go. Can you see? I've got that pattern there and that there. That there and that there. Let's do a bit of inking. It's going to completely transform this card when I ink it. Ink that, there we go. Nice and grungy. I'll ink back later. Can't be bothered to do it now. And I'm just, oh, do them points, woman. Don't forget your pointy bits. There we go. And I'm, I'm wanting to put that same paper up middle. Because it goes so well, doesn't it? Do you know what? I'm going to do it. So I'm going to make a point. So this time I'm doing it Melina's way, what she showed us. Because this paper's a bit thinner. I'll just chop that off. There we go. I could even put another banner in this one. I think I might do. So we've got that in there. So already it looks like three banners. I mean, you can put loads in, Katie Cornered, however you want. I'm just in straight mode today. Right, let's find another piece of paper that will match and we'll put a third banner. I've got, like I said, all this is neutralish. Neutralish. I think I may want something with a text on it. That might be a bit creamy. Ooh, what we've got here? Piece of Timothy. That's one I've just folded in half and done nothing with for some strange reason at some point. Oh, but it's got the dress on. Oh, that nice would just be nice to just cut out and use on it. But I'm not gonna. Hey ho. I'm gonna cut this one inch wide, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna cut a one inch strip off this. Can you see me? Just because I just want a nice thin one coming down the middle. I think I want this bit showing with the little bit of the flowers and the little... Oh, I went mad there and cut it with scissors. Oh, that's that. So we're going to have that one there, then another one there. I don't know if I want it coming down further than bottom one or not. I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to keep it like that. So I'm just going to ink these up and then I'm going to glue them where I want them. You really could make loads of these really quick. They're a fabulous mass making idea. Ink that white bit up at back. Take all the starkness of it. That's now making me think of Tony Stark because I've been watching Marvel films with kids. Do you know what? I'm going to take the lid off my glue. Of course I'm going to take the lid off my glue. I'm going to put my glue here this time. So I don't get it in the wrong place. Whee. You know, for popping this one in. I like that. And I'm just, I'm not, I'm not going to glue that top bit down yet because that would be a bit of a disaster. Find your other pointy bit. Where's it gone? Ink that up. Yeah, I've not made any of these for absolutely ages. And when I've made them before, they've been very plain. They've not been banners. They've been like just one piece of card tucked over and then decorated, which is, yeah, fair enough. And I'm going to stick this one on. Did I decide to have that higher? Yeah, I did. So that, I'm quite happy with that. I like it. Yeah, I really do. So now I'm going to decide what goes on the front before I glue it all together and put my paper clip on. Just wipe that bit of glue off so we don't get all stuck up and messy. Right, what do we want? I'm liking these labels cutting off, I really am. What else we got? I did put a few different labels in. <laughs> now they're too big for this project today. So what we got here? 
I love labels, they're very random. You don't have to mess too much with labels. You'll find loads of them will go and match. Ooh, we could put some teenier ones on. Let's get them out. I like the blue. Oh, I like that. Look, that one's nice. I honestly couldn't tell you who a lot of these labels were from at minute. Oh my word, I've just remembered. I had an email of someone about labels and I read it, then I went to sleep and I've totally forgot to reply. So if that's you, I'm not ignorant, I'm just a nightmare. I'm, an, I'm a nightmare with my memory. I really need to stop doing that. Reading emails before I have time to reply. Or I need to start actually marking them that action is needed, but I'll let you into a secret. I'm not brilliant with email. I lose things in my Gmail, to be quite honest. At some point in the past, at some time, I made all my different emails go to different folders. Yeah, yeah. And now, I, I, sometimes I get new emails, don't even know they're there. Crazy lady. I, I just like that number 10. I'm half sure that's a shabby dabby doo -da, but I'm only half sure. Don't quote me on it. We don't want that, we want another sideways one. I like that. Yep, so I'm going to ink that one. I didn't ink the others because they were quite bold labels. These are more neutral, so that bit of ink I think is needed. You decide whether you need to ink things. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. If you're out like me, it depends on your mood. So yeah, I want those like that. So I'm just going to... Staple those, then it's time to put the paper clip on. Uh, I'm just going to go random which way around this one ends up. Be random. So I'm just going to feed it on. So you've got the long edge at the, <laughs> the long edge there. I got that wrong way around. Well spotted to all you spotted it. Or oh, was it? Oh no. Why am I having a nightmare? Right, hold it like that. So, I'm looking at the inside of the paper clip and I'm holding the inside of the cover and I'm holding the paper clip on the outside. I'm just crazy. There you go. Phew. Oh, so it's ended up being another one at right anyway. I do tend to prefer more embellishments on that right page. I don't know. I don't know if that's a me thing. So, let's get glue in. I like a nice line up there. Don't go too near edge, woman. We don't want it squeezing out too much again. I'm going to glue it there. Because this bit is a little bit shorter this time, isn't it? Remember? A little squiggle around the middle. We'll close it up. I'm really happy with that. I like it. Far too much glue squeezing out at edges again. go what's that well, i'll just use that sometimes look i use edge of a piece of paper the corner is really good at getting any glue out that squishes so it then doesn't show that's it so there we have another one i'm quite liking these i think i could sit and make these all night i really could so we've got four now right I'm going to make another one, I think, with that patterny paper. Because I like that. And we did cut plenty. I'm going to make another one at a different angle, I think. So, cut up the middle. I've, cho I've chosen papers as well where you don't have to be too mindful about the way up that they are. I'm really not too fussed. If it's a very directional paper, you won't want like loads of butterflies upside down up front. It, it just won't look as good, would it? I don't think it would. Let's have a dab in the ink. I mean, you could, I might make two at once now. So that really is a mass make, isn't it? Let's do the other one. Cut up the middle, 
I don't think I've gone as deep on this V, but that's the part of the fun, isn't it? Be a bit boring if they're all totally the same. Bit boring indeed. Well, I don't know. Depends what you want, doesn't it? I don't do boring. <laughs> that totally came out wrong. I don't do boring. That's like saying, oh yes, my projects are all so fantastic, none are ever boring. I mean, <laughs> I never get bored. Right, so that's two of those inked. Um, I'm going to have to go, I want to go for this, I like it. Whether that's boring, in someone else's opinion, that I'm using the same piece of card on them all, I don't know, but I just like it. I really do. So, in a mass making style, I'm going to fold two at once and make my point on them. So there we go. Do do. Inky inky. Inky pinky parlefoo. <sighs> yeah, they were nice to hear from Gertrude for a change. I've been thinking lately that our Amazon improving the service. Is it getting better used to my voice after I think I've had that one about five years? Yeah, is it getting used to my voice eventually? So that she's not piping up at random times because I am missing her. And then last night I were asking her to <laughs> I were in stitches. I were actually talking to Cheryl on um Messenger on video chat and I was setting a reminder and she just really was not hearing me when I was telling her what time. She said, what time would you like the reminder? And I kept telling her. And I just had to keep shouting and getting louder. So it's, yeah, I'm thinking, Gertrude, do you need an hearing aid? Are you going deaf? But she'd heard everything else okay. Right, I'm going to do one of those different lengths. And then I'm going to do another one of the ones the same length. Yeah bit of difference and I'm just going to ink the top crease do, 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 do. Right, and this time I'm going to decide on my decorations for the front before I go gluing inside bits right, I definitely know I want to use that I like that label I really do and I don't know if red's then red's just not the right thing is it so let's get label fishing again I like that one. Label fishing. Oh, I like that one. I like labels. <laughs> My name's Julie and I like all labels. I like that. Might be a bit big and chompy, that one, though. Ooh, that one's good. I do like that, but again, it's a bit big. Right, I think I'm sorted. I want that one. And that one, yeah, I like those. I like how you can see a little bit of what it says on that label, but then some of it's obscured. Well, the layered labels, what, what other effect would you get, woman? Unless you're using see-through labels, you do come out with some daft obvious stuff. A bit lower. So, yeah. I'm going to staple those, my likes. I'm going to cut that big number down a little bit so that it's going to fit better. I don't even know where that's from. I haven't a clue. So a little bit of ink on these. Ooh, that's the bit I missed inking, isn't it? The inside of that. Have another dip in the ink. Same on this one. So I don't think it's taken me much longer to make two than it did to make one. It would be even quicker if I were organised with my labels. I always want different labels to what I've got cut. What is it? Is that the human nature that it's, grass is always green on the other side? We always want something different to what we've actually got. I think this time I want to put, yeah, I'm going to put those that way. Yeah. That's it. And I'm going to pop that on. Get 
I don't really well remember to put lid on my glue. I don't know what's happening. It's really not like me at all. It just really isn't. Let's put a bit of glue there. Me likes. I forgot to ink back of that one up too. I think when you're mass making lots at once, you get into a rhythm, don't you? Of, well, no, I don't want glue at the bottom of that. Oh, yeah, you get into a rhythm. I do. And I'll do one stage on everything, put them all to the other side at desk, do other stage on everything, pop them back to the other side at desk. <laughs> it's like tennis. Doopy 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 doo. You know, I'm enjoying not doing a Christmas project. I resisted Christmas and then the last three have been Christmas and I think I'm Christmased out already. I've done enough Christmas. I think I like that one finished. I don't want another one on that. Those line up, yes they do, so I can put my glue on either side. I've had a few people ask about my glue dangle. That was from the lovely Jane. Uh, she has a shop, the Crafting Kitty Cat on Etsy, doing digitals, but she doesn't sell the dangles. But the other dangle I've gotten dropped on floor somewhere was by Kay Fisher. She does have an Etsy shop, and hers is called the Paper Shed UK, and she does scissor charms, glue dangles. Anyone notice deliberate mistake I made while I was talking? I forgot to put my blinking paper clip in. Right, this is going to be a random one again. I really not bothered which way around it ends up being. Like you might think it's a disaster now, but it's not. <laughs> because look, I'm going to put my paper clip on, and all it's going to do with glue is <laughs> it's going to drag it up to the top. Do do do. Get past that. Go on, get past your decorations, woman, and your paper clip that's it look the only bit that gets glue on is the bit that's going to be on the inside and can you tell i did that with one of prototypes yeah of course i did why would i remember to put the paper clip in a paper clip embellishment there you go done sorted right let's remember to put the paper clip in this last one that might be good and i want this one to go other way so long bit at the bottom loop at the right I've got I've had enough randomness in my life for one evening. And I feel like I need to do something with purpose. No, not a purpose, a purpose. Right, there we go. So that one will go on the other side of the page. And that one, I do want another piece in there. Um, again, I'm going to use a piece of this Timothy Holtz that I cut an inch wide. I think I want the side with the... I want the side with the ticking on this time. So I'm just going to fold that one, cut my points, smidgen of ink. I don't know, I can't remember, I can't decide now which side I want. I like that now it's cut, yeah I like that better. Yeah, it's going that way. So that's not, do I want it sticking? No, I don't want it sticking out at the bottom. I want it further up in because that pleases my eye a little bit more. So I can cover it in glue and there won't be a problem. There we go. And now I can glue. I'm going to glue all around the top one. Nice big line along the top where the paper clip goes. Let's try not to have any squishing this time, woman. Don't go quite so near edge. I'm going to squiggle in the middle. That's better. Much less messy. I quite like these. Right, let's see what we've ended up with. Well, that weren't bad either. Five in half an hour. I'm quite happy with that. And that were with mistakes and waffling and messing and rah, rah, rah. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> is, I have no idea. Oh, here we go. One oh, crafter lunch. Go back. Just, just stay, stay. I put arm up on paper trimmer. It'll hold it all back. It's like a dam. I just like these. I like the look of them. 
And like I say, I've really not gone to town embellishing these. Oh, look, I had a red one there. Didn't know I'd done a red one. I might change that red. I don't know if I like it with others. I don't know. I don't know. So there we have it. Paperclip embellishments. Nice and quick and easy. Six done with waffle and mistakes in half an hour. Yeah. So give them a whirl. Give them a whirl. I may even do a couple in Christmas paper for that journal. Off camera, of course. Yeah, because that's my personal Christmas journal now. To put all my tags and tickets and cards in. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.